No way, I whiffed. Oh my god, he's winning. Oh no, no! Oh! Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window. Now even before Wingman, I was always a fan of playing Counter-Strike in 2v2s. For example, winning all those tournaments with Fawn in PV Pro back a few years ago. So you can imagine how thrilled I was when they added it as an official game mode. The only real disappointment is that there are no 2v2 leagues. Now for those of you who have no idea who I am, I'm an ex-Counter-Strike pro known for my reaction time and mid-picks on DDoS 2. Please subscribe if you like my content, it's free and you can always change your mind. Now a lot of people say that Wingman is too easy and ranks don't matter. And to an extent, you're right. That is, if you're good at 2v2ing. And why do I say this? Well, if you look at my history, you'll see I beat a lot of rank G players and rank A+, rank 10s, all in Wingman fairly consistently. This doesn't mean they're not great players, but they're great at playing in 5v5 scenario, which I feel is probably because it's more utility based. Meanwhile, I feel like Wingman is more about just hitting your shots and how good you are in the clutch. What are the chances we get like go, go, penetrated go. this round or this game? Uh, he didn't react. Good, good. Get the other one. He's oh, right he just here. came out and shot. Doing valve. Good job. Just spray him down. All right, so not the cleanest pistol round I've ever seen from Cactus, but he got the job done, and that's all that matters. <laughs> did you see the running pre-fire I did to hold the uh, V anyway? I don't know. I got a better gun than you. I probably have it better than you do. Oh, sorry. He's V. <laughs> <laughs> Outside B dead. I mean, outside mid dead. <laughs> oh. What? No way! You look at the kill feed. Oh no. Look at the kill <laughs> Through feed. Through a smoke, no scope. <laughs> you can't stop the, the shoddy. So I think after they found out I was locking down middle with a shotgun, they decided to go and try to hit that B site. No way, I whiffed. Oh my god, he's winning. Oh no, no! So I think Cactus and I found the secret to winning on Vertigo, and that would be auto shotties. You're cheating on the auto shotty with a filthy AK. Oh, one more there. Hit for 44. They don't call me North America's most okay rifler for no reason. It's because I'm below average. Way, way below average. Oh, yeah. What? That's how you do it. Ooh. Is it for me? Ow. Did I kill him? Yeah, I did. And with that, we had dominated them in the first half of this game. Look at this guy's profile picture. It's the Mona Lisa with Titan Hollows on it. <laughs> One in sight. Two there. I'm gonna flash. Wait, I'm gonna flash. I'm gonna flash. Flashing twice. Flashing twice. One ding. Nice. Flashing one more. Can't see if I got him. <laughs> he was so blind. He wasn't the only one. I was so blind too. The only thing more surprising is that both of these guys were global elite. Which means we just shut them down with shotguns and tasers. Cactus isn't the only person I play wingman with. Oh no, Fawn seems to be back and playing once again. So I figured it'd be a fun time to try to play some wingman with him as well. Smoked me off. Don't me off. Yeah! 1hp. Pretty sure they're inside. I get him? Good job. They're planning. Good job. Obviously, Fawn and I have been playing with each other for a long, long time. And because of that, we built up tons of chemistry. 
Now, while I'd say that Cactus is more mechanically skilled than both Fawn and I, I still feel like we might make a better team. And this is because Fawn and I have so much chemistry and experience together. Another one in? Now obviously this game went pretty much as expected because Fawn and I were both playing well. But what happens if one of us has a bad game? He's over here. Mid. Got up. Could be up. He smoked me off. Oh. oh crap, one's pushed up on me. He's mid. Oh, uh, they're up mid. Failed. They got me. Got me with a knife. He the way I jumping him fucking... Those jumping Mac-10s. Never underestimate how powerful that jumping Mac-10 can truly be. Alright, I'm not gonna be so aggressive since we're using those kind of guns. I was just kind of like, wrecking them at the beginning, so I was like, I'll ride it till I can't. I'm gonna do something stupid that I've never done before, so if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. Ooh, that almost went south quickly after I missed that first shot. That guy was around the corner of my screen. Give me drop. I think you were too close to the wall. In this game, you really want to be farther from the wall. Basically, just think about basic geometry. Whoever's farther from the wall should be able to see the other person earlier. Though in this game, right peaks have a little bit of an advantage as well. I missed. My fault, man. Obviously, Fun is not having his strongest game here, but yet we are still winning 6-2. to two. And this is because he's still finding ways to support me. Whether it's by throwing a flashbang here or there, or just setting up in a crossfire so they have to worry about two different angles. There are a lot of ways to affect the game without actually getting kills. Oh, he's up. Whatever that is. Library. Oh, okay. Pushing up left side. Lit. 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 Uh, carrying this. Here. Doesn't matter. You want to have games like that? The main thing when you're having a bad game is to not defeat yourself. Because once you start getting hard on yourself, you're just going to play worse and worse, and you're going to stop doing the important things that actually help you win the game. So. I can't hit him. He's hit for 81. Have an off on left. He's hit for 42 on left. There's an opper on left side. He's half health. Good job. He does this thing where he just dodges on right side. He's still right side under me. Can I get him? Yeah. yeah. And honestly, even though it was a rough game, it really wasn't that rough of a game. We still ended up winning 9-4, to four, which isn't exactly close. And again, that's mainly because Fun still found ways to be effective. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.